take a left turn here and we can talk a little about Shea's Rebellion. Well, the American Revolution was successful in bringing classes together to some extent for the fight against England. Well, once that war was over, those class antagonisms began to emerge again. The peace treaty was signed in 1783. Three years later, there was rebellion in Western Massachusetts. The founding fathers became very concerned about future rebellions. When they got together in Philadelphia in 1787 to frame the Constitution of the United States, they wanted a government strong enough to put down rebellion. And so the Constitution was adopted as, a, you might say, a law and order document to maintain stability. With all that control, with all those enticements and diversions, the establishment has been unable to keep itself secure from revolt. Blacks rebelled. Indians thought dead, reappeared defiant. Working people went on strike. And young people like yourself, despite the lures of careers and comfort, have defected. Our only hope for real change lies in the possibility that all of us who are slightly privileged and slightly uneasy begin to see that we are like the guards in the prison uprising in Attica, expendable. That the establishment, whatever rewards it gives us, will also, if necessary to maintain its control, kill us. If the guards stop obeying, if you stop obeying, the system falls. If we understand that and act on it, not only will life be more satisfying today, but our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, may see a different and marvelous world. Thank you.